Remember the Babylon book? The Watchtower book called Babylon the Great Has Fallen, God's Kingdom Rules. It was published in 1963. I mean, you have to be more mature to remember that one, but uh, age-wise. <laughs> so, what does the worldly book entitled The Two Babylons and the Watchtower book Babylon the Great Has Fallen, God's Kingdom Rules have in common? It gets interesting. According to that book called The Two Babylons, the priests had one job to do. Religious priests, all denominations. It was their job to introduce Babylonish ways to the entire globe by stealth. Now, before you just dismiss what I'm saying, listen to a quote right out of the two Babylons. Was a matter, therefore, of necessity, if idolatry were to be brought in, and especially such foul idolatry as the Babylonian system contained in its bosom, that it should be done stealthily and in secret. Even though introduced by the hand of power, it might have produced a revulsion, and violent attempts might have been made by the uncorrupted portion of mankind to put it down. And at all events, if it had appeared at once in all its hideousness, hideousness, it would have alarmed the consciences of men and defeated the very object in view. That object was to bind all mankind in blind and absolute submission to a hierarchy entirely dependent on the sovereigns of Babylon. In the carrying out of this scheme, all knowledge, sacred and profane, came to be monopolized by the priesthood, who dealt it out to those who were initiated in the mysteries, exactly as they saw fit, according as the interests of the grand system of spiritual despotism they had to administer might seem to require. Thus the people, wherever the Babylonian system spread, were bound neck and heel to the priests. That is a quote right from the Two Babylons, page 7. The plan? Mm -hmm. The religion of the Jehovah's Witnesses, controlled by Watchtower, Inc., dedicated their religious publication, Babylon the Great Has Fallen, God's Kingdom Rules, to entirely different cause. Right here is the reason why I write about ancient Babylon, why I speak about it. Astonishingly, in my family's religion, not one word was mentioned about how Babylon's practices would be introduced fraudulently. Our family read this book cover to cover during the week's book studies. Not one word of warning was uttered on how to protect their precious, much-loved members from such a covert deception. In fact, the very opposite was stated, namely that Babylon's religions would fall and would be replaced by their grand god's new world paradise. The Jehovah's Witnesses were being led right into a deadly mental trap. This is what they claimed their publication would accomplish. The Babylon book, dedicated 
to God the Almighty, who causes the fall of Babylon the Great. Causes the fall. Watchtower. <laughs> In the eternal interest of true religion. Yes. The Babylon Book of Jehovah's Witnesses was dedicated to God Almighty, who is said to bring down the Babylonish religions. Not one word of restoring ancient Babylon was ever noted. In other words, they were keeping to the agenda to bring Babylon into the Jehovah's Witnesses religion by stealth. Interestingly, Watchtower Inc. most certainly knew about the planned betrayal of their religious members. Indeed, Watchtower Inc. was also invited to participate in the grand deception. All religions of the world were obliged to engage their flocks in the lie. If a religion would refuse to participate, that would very likely mean losing their government subsidies and even, dare I say, their tax-exempt tax status. How would Lilo me know that Watchtower Inc. knew? The book Babylon the Great Has Fallen, God's Kingdom Rules, states that it used the two Babylons as a source book, no less, identified on page 20. Perhaps a better question to ask might be, how could Watchtower not know? This book went to all religious orders of the day, Watchtower included. And each religion could decide for themselves how they would bring this agenda forward. I will continue. Jehovah's Witnesses, Babylonish Connections Exposed. Imagine, back in the early 1960s, Jehovah's Witnesses members might have known the truth about their false religion had they been awake enough to discern. Personally, I was just a very young girl at that time, struggling valiantly to keep up with all of the Watchtower's grand new light. <laughs> new light. As the Watchtower Society likes to call it, as far back as I can remember, I've heard that expression. The Watchtower religion promoted theirs as the one true religion. After an inspection and approval made personally by Jesus in 1919, ah, as a child, I was truly gullible enough to believe everything I heard. After all, how could my parents be wrong about such an important revelation? My parents were both devoted Jehovah's Witnesses, and that's exactly the reason why I write about ancient Babylon today. It's time to expose the religious lies and deceptions in which I was indoctrinated and enslaved for far too long. You can just hear the trolls now. You Jezebel! Or like my friend Gabby said, Satan's got you now. Feminist. You need Jesus. <laughs> so, I suppose the failure of ancient Babylonians ability to build the Tower of Babel vertically into the heavens didn't stop the narcissists of the day. After that first failure, they next decided to build their world empire horizontally. Are we not seeing that manifestation today? 
When I examine my parents' religion and all their dysfunctional beliefs, I indeed see valid reasons why I would write about ancient Babylon at this time. I'll be scrutinizing more about their specific beliefs in the future. And I will leave some links down below for related material. Thanks for watching.